You know, in spite of the fact that the Tibetan language is one of the great languages of the world, uh, the fact, the truth remains that uh, when it comes to contemporary reading materials uh, for kids, uh, it's very, very uh, difficult to find those. So I'm really happy that this exists for the kids who were born 10 or 15 years after us. You know? So thank you for that. As a potential parent, I thank you. I'm so honored. I'm so, so honored to be here. My dear, dear and old friend, Primo, was so gracious to ask me to come and celebrate this incredible event. And it's incredible because so many reasons. And we've heard, we've heard so many inspiring words already. But many of us, I think, when we become aware of the atrocities that are occurring in the world and the seemingly unfairness and violence towards others and the conflict, we feel saddened and we feel overwhelmed and we feel that we are powerless to do something about it. Rima is an artist and she lives and breathes her art. She gets up in the morning, she makes a cup of tea, she goes to her art studio and she works all day long. That's what she does. But she's an activist as well, and she's found a way to incorporate with her art, what she loves and what she does well, a way to change the world for the better. I really thank the children. Uh, they never ask me to do this. I do it for myself. Uh, every time I go to India to visit all the refugee schools, I go there thinking I want to help them in some ways, but I always come home being totally inspired by their strength, by their kindness, and their smiles. So I really want to thank the Tibetan children in exile. Thing. And that's why Rima's book is very, very important. 